Hey everybody, how we doing today? Beautiful day here at Florida Keys. Boom, look at a little birdie enjoying it over there. But it's not so nice once you get out in the open. It is blowing about 20, so not so good there. But with full sun like this, I think it's like 75, 76 degrees a day. So can't stay home when it's like that. Plus, I'm like way behind on the all about the bait chores. Uh, last week was a blowout, so everything I was going to do last week just couldn't do it. So it's starting to stack up. Uh, I need to do a bunch of little video clips, so I'm going to be doing that today. Uh, so that's the plan. All right, so number one on the list, got to release the new All About the Bait boonie hat with the embroidery All About the Bait logo there. I uh, just put those in the system a couple days ago and they're already selling. I didn't even let people know, but these uh, flat hats are just like super popular. So I sell a ton just plain. Uh, but during this last batch of shirts, I told them that I had them embroidery a few just to test them. So I've got those in the system. I think they're like 19 or $18. I just charged whatever uh, Coconut Ink charged for the embroidery. So that's just what the price is. So you can check those out. Still got the four colors. Uh, boom. You don't get the rust stain, but that's like just me throwing it in my car and I get a big old rust stain. So, but that's fishing life. Saltwater corrosion. So there you go, check it out, www.allaboutthebait.com. All right, number two, I need to catch me a mullet. All right, I'm gonna do some blind cast in here. I just got the a bit of a mud situation going on on here. I've seen a couple of little flicks. I think there's mullet here, I'm pretty sure, but can't see anything. So I got the five foot net. I'm gonna do a few test throws, just need one. See if by chance there's any around. Nope, nothing there. Uh, something silvery in there. Pilchards. Nice pilchards. Huh. All right. Well, those are there. Yeah, those are good ones. Hmm. Interesting. I wasn't planning on doing a lot of fishing today, but we might have to do that. Huh. All right. All righty. After a GoPro malfunction, but that's okay. We have got our mullet. Step number two done on the list. Sorry, buddy, but I need you and not for fishing. That'll work. You're going into the cooler. Uh, down in there. All righty. Next on the list. I think I might try to catch more of these pilchards. Uh -huh. Look what we got there, buddy. Three of them, two of them. Relax. Settle down. All right, cross that off the list. Oh yeah, you can see there's just tons of bait have moved in. The birds are diving. Now we're getting back to normal again. Yeah, pilchards. Oh yeah, this is all pilchards here. Man, so big of a difference just one day makes. Bait is back. Birds are back. I guarantee there's gonna be fish in there. Nice. All right, we're gonna take a break from my chores and uh, drip this nice little mullet here. Got some wire. And just take a quick intermission to see if we can catch a fishy while we're messing around. Get my pedals in, see what happens. All right, I think something's got it. Something's got it, or something's got us. Let me 
make sure that hook is set. Staying down low, somewhat sharkish. Yay! Mullet paid off! Yeah, you're done, buddy. You done got wired. Ugh. Wired and circle hooked. Come on. Hey, stop. You like that? Yeah, baby. <laughs> Nice jackaroonies. <laughs> ba bam Yeah. That was a shark. Ate that big old mullet. Not so bad. Playing hooky from the chores. Alright. Get back to the chores time. Alright, moving on to our next chore, but since we're on the edge of the channel here and I've got this nice big mullet, I'm just going to put this out. I've got my stakeout anchor, so we're stuck here. I'm going to put the chum bag out because I need to try to get a uh, pinfish. So that's the next on our to-do list. But wouldn't hurt to have that guy out there while I'm doing that. So let's get set up and try to catch pinfish. All right, got the chum bag out. Got my long shank number 12 hook. And I see some uh, pinfish already showing up, so get a nice little one there. Uh oh, there we go. Oh, what happened? Dang it. Oh, there it goes. Oh, that broke me off. Dang it. Oh, and that thing got my bait. It might have just pulled it off if he went. I filled it something yank. Bam. All right. We have our pinfish. Ugh. Nice little one, but that'll work. In the box he goes. Yeah, I put the chum out by these mangroves and just to see if I could pull any bait out and the pilchard showed up. Yay for me. Well, eat that chum. No problem. Oh, something's going after it. I think. Oh, stupid toothy critter killing my pilchard. Hound fish, I bet. Yep. Dang it. Dang it, dang it. Poor man sailfish. Oh man. Man, you better not have swallowed it. I don't see my hook, and that's a big old seven knot hook. Dang it. Ugh. 
Now these boys got some needle teeth. Ow! Arg! Them teethers. Man, he swallowed it. All right, since I got a half dozen of these nice sized pilchards, let's see if there's anything along the bottom around here. It's a bit windy and choppy, but we shall see. All right, something's messing with this. There we go. Fishy, fishy. Not very big fishy. Well, my other GoPro died, my main GoPro. So, finished it off with the other one. And we got a nice little mutton snapper. Went for the live pilchard and the cobra jig head. Bam. All right, the last two uh, chores on my list had to do with this, which is the uh, Esky Rods 3 inch plastic shrimp. I wanted to get some underwater footage, so I brought my underwater camera there, but uh, the water's kind of dirty, and plus the sun is just set, so ran out of time there. Uh, the other part of it, though, is the uh, shrimp is going to be my November's All About the Bait product testers giveaway, okay? So I'm gonna send a sample pack of the, the uh, shrimp tails, also a pack, a couple of my uh, Cobra one quarter ounce jig head, and also the one eighth ounce uh, three aught fish head jig head, uh, because they mate with this shrimp perfectly. So that's kind of why I had these jig heads made were for like this. So I'll be sending those out in the mail. I might juice it up a bit and give away some uh, samples of uh, some soft plastics. I just got a bunch that I don't use, so I'll probably be sending those out as well. But expect those in the mail. Um, those will be, how should have some names scrolling here. Uh, my $20 and higher Patreon supporters will automatically always get whatever my monthly giveaway is. And then I'll randomly draw 10 names and you guys will also get them. So I figure about 25 people. So anyways, let's check those out. Alrighty, no Hail Mary Snook for me. But that's okay, uh, we did pretty good on the All About the Bait uh, to-do list. Checked off most all of them. Uh, but the uh, mullet, pinfish, and the pilcher that I kept in the cooler there, they're actually gonna be a project for the um, All About the Bait no logo, no logo hooded shirts. And which, by the way, I've added two new colors a little bit of a darker gray this is aluminum and then i got a little bit of a darker gray and also a little bit of a darker blue as well so you can check those out now i have six different colors but those baits are going to be working in conjunction there with a new project i don't know maybe could be could be a scented chum shirt that you can actually use to attract fish how would that be i don't know just gotta have to see how that works out but uh, anyways, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next video. Bye.